Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Uh, I haven't uh, done a video for a while, so I just wanted to uh, say hi. I uh, hope everyone's doing good out there. So I want to do another episode of You're Welcome. And uh, for episode two of You're Welcome, we're going to do 1991 Fleer. So this is the, uh, the series where I open a terrible box of cards, and instead of trying to make you watch it all, I'll just open it pre-hand and show you the highlights of it. So once again, 91 Fleer. We all know 91 Fleer. And uh, here's a couple of stacks of the commons, which is mostly what you get out of a box. So with 91 Fleer, and um, if I'm wrong, you can correct me, whatever. I heard that at the time it was the largest set on record for any baseball card. And I saw it referred to as the Yellow Monster in baseball baseballcardpedia.com so these are the two big stacks of common these are going to go into my shoe box it's going to be donated off to goodwill uh, that's how i get rid of my commons so some un poor unfortunate soul at goodwill can pay a couple bucks for them and realize that there's nothing there but let's get going so a lot of people don't like 91 fleer i actually love it uh, i've opened 91 fleer a couple times before and I'll continue to do it again. There are a lot of commons. People complain about the bright yellow color, but I actually don't mind it. I love the 91 Fleer because of the ProVision cards. And the ProVision cards, I'll show you what I got here in a minute, but I keep on I keep on wanting to re-see re those cards, see if I can get ones that are gradable, but I really do like the ProVision cards. So let's start off and uh, let's see what interesting cards I got out of here. So we're gonna start off with what John Jabs refers to as the Mandela effect. I've opened a thousand packs of these. I've never seen this card before. Joe Bitker, I've heard the name before, but like the complete white background there, I've never seen this card before. I think they just inserted it. So we have a picture here of Lenny Dykstra. And on the back, that's what Lenny Dykstra's cheeks look like when he was in prison. If you get the drift. <laughs> Old Lenny. I'm sure he'll be in prison again someday. We have very happy Willie McGee. Not so happy Tommy Gregg. Happy Willie McGee. Not so happy Tommy Gregg. <laughs> okay, enough of that silliness. We got ourselves a little yellow Dennis Lamp. So uh, this one's going to be rotated in the lamp lamp, the upper deck illuminator. So I have another lamp card to add to the collection. We got our mandatory Eric Plunk. Sorry for my big fat fingers there. And we got the mandatory Sabo card. And I have to show you Sabo smiling with the rec specs there. So just going through the paperwork, early paperwork here. We have our normal, see, the stack here in Fleer is smaller for like the big, the, the big names, the Hall of Famers, because there's just so many cards in the set. that. So I don't normally keep Eckersley, but I really like this card. This was cool. Eckersley card, I won't show the back. There's a McGuire. Let's go through these real quick. We got a bow. There's a Luis, Luis Gonzalez that I just threw at Sandberg. Uh, bow, cow. Clemens, Sammy Sosa is a cool looking card, Mattingly, Randy Johnson, Barry Larkin, Gary Sheffield. Here's the Benia Larkin card. 90 and 91 Fleer were pretty famous for having the cards with multiple players on it, like the two players. With Nolan Ryan, Tony Gwynn, and then the best card I really think you get the set, this one's off centered, is the King Griffey Jr. Barry Bonds card, second generation stars. Uh, it looks better on camera actually, but that right side is a little bit longer, so it's not perfectly centered. But So those are the star cards that I got, including the Eckersley. I just like the picture of it. We got my normal Cubs. We got Mark Grace. Only one Mark Grace this time. Not like eight of them. We got the Hawk, Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. And then we got Maddox that I just thrown everybody at Sandberg today. There's Maddox. Speaking of Sandberg, 
we got a pretty off-centered Sandberg base card. This is the best part of any box, though, is the Sandbergs. Look at this one, Sandberg and the Hawk. This one looks pretty perfectly centered. I'm not going to send it in or anything. Maybe I'll send it to Durango to do GMA. But this is a Chicago 100 club, and that was centered really well. And this one with Cecil Fielder was also centered very well, too. So, well, we'll consider a little GMA action on those. And then the highlight of the box, as I mentioned before, oh, before I get there, we got a shit ton of stickers, and I'm sure they don't stick anymore. Um, I don't even know if they come off. The stickers have all this residue on them. They look terrible. Uh, actually, let me take that back. These stick actually okay. It was a bad coalition on the stickers. It seemed like I got the same team two times in a row in all the packs. Expos, Blue Jays, Phillies, and then a couple singles in the end, and then these ones with the four teams on it. Once again, no Cub stickers in it. Uh, not a great coalition on the stickers, coalition. And then the highlight of it is the ProVision. So the first one I got was a Conseco. And that's with the lightning on the bat. This one's a little off-centered. A little wider on the left side there. Still a cool card. The second one I got was a Maguire. Pretty badly off-centered to the right there. But that's a really cool card with the American flag. The third one we got was Ruben Sierra. Eh, I don't care. It's Ruben Sierra. Off-centered. Not a whole lot going on in the photo. The bat seems to be smoking. Uh, off-centered and that was the third one and the thing about these is I got uh, my fourth one I only got a total of four provisions and I got all four in the first half of the box so I was a little disappointed in the second half of the box but and the last one is the Kirby Puckett which is off-centered also but this is the one as you can see he's got the dynamite or the the wick there in the end of the bat and this is my favorite card that I got out of the whole box but so that's it for 1991 Fleer. Thank you for tuning in for this short little recap. You're welcome.